Hi, good day. So this is just uh, the continuation of our uh, previous discussion. Okay, this is for the homogeneous uh, linear equations with uh, constant uh, coefficients. But this time, okay, the auxiliary equation is for the uh, repeated uh, roots. So suppose that in the equation, that is the f of d multiplied by y equal to 0, okay, the differential operator f of d has uh, repeated uh, factors. That is, the auxiliary equation f of m is equal to 0 has repeated uh, roots. So let's say... Okay, so we have, uh, for example, we will be having three uh, equal roots. So let's say that is the first root m1 is simply equal to the second root m2 equal to the third root m3 is equal to uh, b. So if we are to uh, follow our previous uh, method that is for the distinct uh, root method, uh, distinct root method, that is okay, we have y is equal to c1 e raised to uh, m1 times x plus uh, c sub 2, this is a raised to m2 times x. Okay, for this example, we have three roots. That is c sub 3 e raised to m3 times uh, x. Since they are all equal to the value of b, we can replace them. Okay, y is now equal to c1 e raised to bx plus i c2 e raised to uh, bx plus i c3, this is e raised to uh, bx. Then we can factor out e raised to bx. So y is now equal to c1 okay, plus uh, c2 plus uh, c3. Then this is multiplied by e raised to uh, bx. Then we can uh, replace this expression for the general solution with, uh, let's say y is now equal to c4 e raised to uh, bx. So since they are uh, just constants, uh, that c1, c2, c3, this is uh, C4 is simply equal to C1 plus uh, C2 plus uh, C3. Then this will be our equivalent uh, general solution. That is for the case of the uh, distinct uh, the distinct root uh, method. Uh, so with uh, C4 equal to C1 uh, plus C2 plus C3, thus, the cor uh, thus corresponding to the three roots under consideration, this method has yielded to uh, yielded only the solution y equal to uh, c4 e raised to uh, bx. Uh, the difficulty is uh, present uh, because the three solutions corresponding to the roots m1 equal to m2 equal to m3 is equal to b are not uh, linearly independent. So if we are to uh, write the solution f of dy equal to 0, this is for again uh, repeated roots. The auxiliary equation has only a uh, real uh, roots. So each uh, root of the auxiliary equation is either distinct from all other uh, all, all other roots or it is one of the set of equal uh, roots. So for example, possible that we will be having two, uh, two sets of uh, repeating roots, uh, three sets and uh, so on. So corresponding root mi I distinct from all others, uh, there is the solution. So y sub i is equal to ci e raised to m i uh, e raised to m sub i times uh, x. So and okay, the corresponding to n equal roots, let's say m1, m2 up to mn, each equal root uh, to b will be, uh, this is our general solution for uh, repeated roots. So that is y is equal to c1 e raised to bx, i c sub 2 x e raised to bx, i up to c sub n, x raised to n minus 1 e raised to uh, bx. So that is for our uh, introduction for the uh, uh, homogeneous linear equations with constant coefficients. So again, this time, so with an auxiliary equation for uh, repeated roots. Okay, so let's have an example. That is uh, d raised to 4y divided by dx uh, raised to 4 plus 2d cube y over dx cube plus d squared y over dx is equal to uh, 0. So let us uh, recall the equivalent of uh, the equivalent of y is simply equal to e raised to mx. 
So for example, we are to take the first derivative of that expression, that is dy, derivative of e raised to mx is e raised to mx multiplied by m times uh, dx. So dividing both sides of the equation by uh, dx, this will be give us either dy over dx or the first derivative is now equal to m e raised to m times uh, x. So if we are to take another derivative, so this is for the second derivative, the derivative of uh, dy over dx is now equal to m. So we are just to repeat uh, this uh, step since we have uh, the same derivative for e raised to mx, that is e raised to mx multiplied by m uh, dx. So dividing both sides of the equation again by uh, dx, this, this will give us either this squared over d, uh, this squared y over the dx squared is now equal to m squared e raised to uh, mx. So if we are now to uh, observe the pattern, okay, for the first derivative, that is the dy over dx, we have that as m e raised to mx. For the second derivative, this squared y over the dx squared, that is equal to m squared e raised to uh, mx. So what about for the third derivative? That is the d cubed y, this is divided by okay, the dx uh, cubed is now equal to m raised to 3 e raised to uh, mx. Then for the fourth derivative, this is the d sub 4 y divided by dx uh, raised to 4 is equal to m raised to 4 e raised to uh, mx or simply in some uh, references they are using a uh, d for the differential operator now we are ready to uh, substitute uh, so i just uh, did this approach just to uh, clarify all right so we are now ready to uh, substitute for our auxiliary equation we have for the d raised to 4 uh, this is m raised to 4 e raised to okay, mx. Then plus, uh, we have a co constant coefficient 2, okay, d raised to 3, or that is okay, d cubed y over dx cubed. Uh, this is m raised to 3 e raised to mx. Then plus, okay, dy squared over, uh, supposedly this is dy squared over uh, dx squared. That is second derivative. So plus, uh, that is uh, m squared e raised to mx equal to 0. So if we are to uh, divide both sides of the equation or all terms with the term e raised to mx, just to get, uh, to get rid with this uh, term, so we have now our equation m raised to 4 plus uh, 2m cubed okay, plus m squared is equal to 0. Okay, now, so we are now uh, ready to uh, compute for the roots and let's see if we have uh, repeated, uh, repeated roots. So maybe we can factor out um, this term, okay, the m squared. So this is okay, m squared multiplied by okay, m squared plus I 2m plus a 1 equal to a 0. So let's have the repeated uh, the roots. I think we have a repeated root. So this is for the first, uh, for this term. Okay, so we have uh, the m squared is equal to a 0. So I observe this is a second degree. So we are, ex supposedly we are expecting uh, two roots. But uh, the roots are is simply equal to m1, 0, and m2 is equal to 0. So we have this uh, first set or one set of a, a repeating root that is simply equal to uh, 0. So let's have uh, this term. Okay, the m squared plus 2m plus 1. So this is okay, m squared plus uh, 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. I think this is an easy one to uh, an easy one to uh, factor. So we have the factors. We have this is m plus 1. 
multiplied by okay, m plus 1 is equal to uh, 0. So it's 1 times 1 is 1, then 1 plus 1 is uh, 2. So if we are to compute for the roots, uh, let's say uh, this is now the third root, m3, or we can have it as m plus 1 is equal to 0, that is, uh, <coughs> excuse, that is m3 is simply equal to negative 1. So the same as this uh, term. So we can have m4 as negative 1. So another set of a, a repeating a root. So we have a repeated roots for this example. Therefore, we are using the general solution for a repeated roots. So our repeated roots, there is the m1 equal to 0 m2 is equal to 0. That is our first set. For the second set, this is m3 is equal to negative 1 and m4 is also equal to negative uh, 1. So we are using this uh, general, general solution for repeated roots. So that is, we have y is equal to the c1 e raised to bx okay, plus uh, the c2 uh, x multiplied by e raised to uh, bx up to, let's say this is a uh, plus c sub n, this is x raised to n minus 1 by e raised to uh, bx. Right, so let's have uh, the first set. This is for uh, the first set uh, of repeated roots, that is i0. So we have a y, so let's have uh, the equivalent of that b is simply equal to uh, zero. So we have y is equal to, uh, this is c sub 1, e raised to uh, 0, uh, multiplied by uh, x, plus, uh, this is c sub 2, uh, we have a multiplier here, a variable x, so this is c sub 2, uh, x, this is e raised to uh, 0 times x, that is for the repeated root uh, 0. What about for uh, the repeated root negative 1? So we again, uh, we are now to uh, again start. This is a plus, but this is for another set of repeated roots. So let's say for this time, uh, for this time the value of b is now equal to negative 1. So this is I c sub 3, I multiplied by e. So we don't have a multiplier x. Again, we are starting since we have a new set of a, of a, a repeating root. So that is uh, c sub 3 e raised to, uh, this is raised to negative 1 times uh, x. Okay, plus the c sub 4, uh, this time we have a multiplier x. Okay, c sub 4 x, this is e raised to negative 1 times uh, x. So this is, again, just to be clear, uh, this first two terms, that is for the uh, repeated root b equal to 0. Then for this I, third and fourth terms, that is for the p, uh, repeated root b is equal to negative uh, 1. Then we can now simplify our uh, general solution. So this is the same as 1, I'll uh, save as uh, 1. So the general solution, we have y is now equal to c1 plus the c2x, okay, then plus, this is i c3, or c sub 3, e raised to negative x, okay, plus i the c sub 4, i x, e raised to negative uh, x. So this will be our answer. So the general uh, solution Uh, the general solution for our example.